Hi and welcome to Arise Cake Creations, I'm Sarah and on this tutorial we'll be making these beautiful rice paper cells and then we'll be using the rice paper cells along with the rice paper flour from my previous tutorial to decorate this beautiful ethereal dreamy cake so let's get started I've listed all the equipment that will be required in the description box below I will be showing you several methods of how you can make these rice paper sails so you can choose the method that's right for you. Now the first method I'm showing you is to scrunch up some parchment paper. Now this is my preferred method because the actual um, sails itself comes out quite organic um, and the shape's quite misshapen but just really pretty and really beautiful. So all you need to do is take up some scrunched up paper, um, just scrunch it into a shape, any organic shape is fine, and then place it onto some trays. Now I'm using the trays because we're actually going to bake them, um, and also the ones that I will be showing you on the other two methods will be actually air drying them. So I've got three trays here ready to go so that I can pop them into the oven once the rice paper is on them. Now the other method that you could use is on a silicone mat. So I've got a stiff silicone mat here, which I'm showing you, and also a flexible, really flexible, soft silicone mat. And just use some clips really, just to kind of clip them into position. Now the shape on this will be um, a lot more rigid than using parchment paper, um, but really it depends on the design that you want to do or your preferred method. So I've got my colours prepared here and I've poured them into a palette and I'm going to be showing you an ombre effect. So I'm going to be going from a light pink into the deeper shade of pink in the flower. Now the rice paper um, can be obtained from any Asian or specialist shops. Um, it's also known as Vietnamese rice paper as well um, or spring roll paper. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually using the size which is 22 centimetres in diameter. I'm actually going to cut it in half. Um, so I'm having some that are cut in half, I'm using some that are going to be full disc size and also some that are going to be cut into quarters just so that I can have a lovely swooping effect around the cake. So add the water to your container and because I'm going to show you how to do an ombre effect I'm gradually going to add the colour a bit at a time with each size of rice paper I'm going to use. Dip your rice paper into the water. Now the colder the water is, the longer it will take for your rice paper to soften up. Once your rice paper is soft, gently lift it out of the water and then place it onto the parchment paper. Now I'm actually adding a tiny bit more colour to my rice paper sale um, so that the colour kind of looks like it's starting from a really pale pink into um, then starting to increase in shade. Now you can do whatever you feel um, you need to do for the design of your cake. Continue this process until you've done all of your rice paper sales and you've now got a lovely graduated ombre effect on each of the rice paper sales that are resting on the parchment papers. So as I said before, I'm going to show you also how to do it onto the silicone mat. So it's very much the similar process into the water, soften the rice paper onto the silicone mat and just drape it over those folds that you've made. If you need to attach your rice paper sails in a particular way, you can actually um, add, as I did with the flower in the previous tutorial, um, added a wire, um, florist wire, um, or you can use a cocktail stick um, or a skewer. So I like to wait until the rice paper is slightly tacky and then just literally wind the base um, of where you want it to attach around the rice paper and it will just stick perfectly well. 
With the rice papers that I've got on the parchment paper, I'm actually going to be baking them in an oven, but it's a really cool oven. So only 80 degrees Celsius, that's 175 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. If you're leaving your rice paper sails to air dry, it may take a couple of hours or overnight to dry, depending on where you are. Now, I'm just showing you the difference of how they look when they're dried on the um, parchment paper and how the rice paper sails look when they're dried on the silicone mat. The rice paper sails on the silicone mat are a lot smoother and a bit more rigid in shape, um, whereas the ones that are dried on the parchment paper are actually more organic and more fluid in shape. So the choice is yours. So I use some edible luster dust to brush onto the sails and the flower to give them a gorgeous shimmery effect. So I've got my cake here decorated in fondant and it's 8 inches high by 8 inches wide um, and I'm going to place the flower into the top centre and I've got a straw there to pop the flower into. Um, I'm actually going to start off with my deepest pink colour of cells first, so leading from the flowers and then flowing round onto the front of the cake. Um, so I'm actually using white chocolate to attach the sails to. Now you could also, as I said, use um, have skewers or your cocktail sticks and then just put them into the cake itself, but I'm using white chocolate on this occasion. So with the sails attached to the front, um, I just use the sails to make an indentation on the front of the fondant and then piped on some white chocolate and then literally held it in place until the chocolate firmed up and the sale was firmly in place and then moved on to the next one and I just keep con continued going round from the mid colour right the way down to the lightest shade of pink. And there you have it, your rice paper sails and rice paper flower creating this beautiful, stunning and dramatic effect on your cake. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed making it. I'm really enjoying seeing some of your creations when you've made them from my tutorials. So please continue to do that and you continue to send them to me at either hashtag Arise Cake Creations on Instagram or hashtag Arise Cake Creations on Facebook. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe so that my videos get picked up by the algorithm and I can continue making great content for you. So until next time, see you soon. Thanks for watching.